Okay, we're gonna do a little trig substitution today. Okay, um, well here we go. Like here, here's one of the examples. We're we're gonna work out this example. And notice how u substitution won't work. Um, we we can't rewrite write it as a square as we did in length of a curve. It's 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 being kind of a pain in the butt. So um, what we're gonna do is we're instead of doing a u substitution, we'll do a trig substitution. And it's almost the exact same thing. Okay. So when you encounter any of these situations, you'll use, you know, you'll sub x in for a sine theta, and a is just a constant. Okay, so notice there, there's like an a plus, a minus, you know, yada yada. Like, like for example, this one, a would be one, x would be equal to three t. Okay, so we would use the sine identity, and the way I memorize these is if I'm looking through a problem and I see a radical and I can't do anything with it, I see a plus, I think tangent. A minus equals sine, and everything else, just go to secant, okay? Um, you will also have to use these identities, so uh, you know, write them down if you need to, and that stuff. So let's just dive right into it. And don't worry, we'll, I'll pull this thing back, okay? So we'll, we're, 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 we won't, uh, you know, all right, so there we go. So let's right away, let's just go ahead and rewrite this, okay? Um, 1 minus 3t squared dt, okay? So we saw that this was looked like the a minus situation, and a was equal to 1, and x was equal to 3t. So we're going to use our little uh, substitution there. Okay, I'm going to zoom out too. I don't need to fully do this. So, okay, so x is equal to a sine theta. Well, x is just equal to sine, sine theta, okay, because, you know, a is 1. And sine theta, x is equal to 3t. X is a, so sine theta and 3t are 1 and the same. Okay, so we can go ahead and let's just, let's just go ahead and... Uh, say that 3t is equal to sine theta, okay? Now this guy right here, this is our trig substitution, okay? This, this, is, a, this is the substitution we're gonna use, just like a u substitution, okay? And so next thing we're gonna do, we're, we're, we need to get the derivative out of it, so let's just solve for t, and that'll be one-third sine theta, Okay, so let's just do, just like u substitution, we'll just go dt equals one-third cosine theta d theta, okay? Now, this is our piece of information that we really want. We want this, and we want this, okay? And we're going to plug it into, and we're going to plug those into this. We're going to plug sine in for 3t right here and then we're going to take dt and we're going to plug it in right this in for dt okay so let's just go ahead and do that right now so what is that going to be equal to let's see this is going to be is it on the page okay so it'll be it's still equal one there three t is equal to sine theta so I, I sub that in there and it's square so it is sine squared theta all under the radical, and then dt is equal to one third cosine theta d theta. Okay, so we made our substitution. Now, next thing we can do, I think we can yank the constant out. Rewrite the unit. This Pythagorean identity says it's just going to be cosine squared theta. And then we're going to get cosine theta d theta. Okay. Um, I think, let's see here, I'm just going to copy this down to the next page, except I'm going to note that this is going to cancel out the radical, and that's just going to be worth cosine theta, and it'll be absolute value, okay? So let me go ahead and rewrite this on another sheet of paper, okay? I, I don't want to get too many pieces of paper floating around, because I don't want to confuse anyone. Okay, there, there, that is right there. So all I did was rewrite that. We've made it this far. So here, here is that right there. 
All right, now this is absolute value, so this is always going to be positive, but this might be negative. Okay, so um, it's possible we could have an array of answers, and let's see, because of that, I'm, I think I can go ahead and remove the absolute value bars for now, but let's just remember that, well, we'll go into it later. We'll, we'll, we'll remember that, but I want you to really keep that in mind. Be careful with this, okay? Because right, cosine cosine's negative, um, you know, on this part of the unit circle right here. Okay, so let's see here. This part right here, we're gonna have to rewrite as well. This is gonna be one third. I'm gonna see. We can't integrate cosine squared, so we do one plus cosine of two theta over two d theta. Okay, and that invites us. Pull the constant out. One plus cosine two theta. Okay, this is pretty easy to integrate now, isn't it? So we get one sixth, we get theta plus one half sine two theta, and of course we go plus c. Okay, but the only problem is, is this answer is in terms of thetas, okay? So let me throw the uh, one sixth in here. Here's kind of our, um, yeah, actually I'm just gonna leave this answer just like this. Our answer is in terms of, of theta when it should be in terms of t, okay? All right, our original answer was in terms of t, so we need, we need to go back and you know kind of put this in the correct parameter and I hope I don't run out of time doing that okay um, okay so here here was the answer to it okay we already did that and earlier in our problem remember that we found out that sine theta was equal to 3t so now I've got everything I need to do I've, I have everything I need to draw a, a right triangle okay and solve for all the sides okay so that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do next Okay, theta is equal to inverse sine of 3t. See, now it's in terms of t. Two th sine 2 theta is equal to um, 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so I need to make this substitution right here. All right, so let's see here. So... 2 sine theta is equal to, sine theta is equal to 3t, and cosine theta is equal to um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 1 minus right there. So ultimately, sine 2 theta is equal to 6t, 1 minus 9t squared, okay? So we're gonna substitute sine two theta and theta back into this, okay? So let's just do that right now. So we got one sixth. There's theta was equal to inverse sine. And then we're gonna have one half times six t. plus C. Okay, so let's see if we can't simplify this a little more. So we're going to end up with sine negative 1, 3T. This will be 3T. This will cancel out. So that's 3T. Plus C. I guess we'll go ahead and put it in brackets just to make it a little neater. So... Uh, actually, kind of a long one. Kind of a long one. So I, I hope I didn't rush through <coughs> through it. I was just trying to get there but before the 10 minutes. So, um, you know, I, I'll, I'll, we're going to do more examples of these. So I just, I just, I just don't want to uh, feel like I rushed it and maybe you missed something because I'm just trying to keep it under the time limit. But, um, yeah, I, I hope you kind of get there. So... I'll see you in the next video, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do more of these, so uh, practice makes perfect. Alright, thanks for watching.